Hello, dear 7th graders, and welcome to your new English lesson. My name is Diana Bundara, and I will be your English teacher today. The topic of today's lesson is successful at an early age. So, let's start. Let's get you all started. You need a pen or a pencil, your notebook, and your mobile phone. All set up? Okay, let's roll! In this lesson, you are going to read a text about success. And after today's lesson, you are going to talk about success from your perspective. So, take a look at this tree and try to find five synonyms and five antonyms for the word success. I'd like to suggest that you pause the video lesson and write these words in your notebooks. Okay, let's check. What have you got? Victory, progress, profit, happiness, fame, child, high flyer, star, glory, champion, fortune, flying colors, win, legend, fruit. These are all synonyms for success. And antonyms? Humiliation, depression, crash, misfortune, loss, lowest point, sadness, wannabe. Successful at an early age? What does it mean? Let's take a look at some legends and stars. Joan of Arc, a national heroine of France. At the age of 18, she led the French army to victory over the English and soon died. Jojo Siva, an ultra hyper 16 year old singer, actress, YouTube star, and dancer. Mary Shelley, English writer best known for her horror novel Frankenstein that was published when she was only 20. Mata Rimac, a Croatian innovator, businessman and founder of the Croatian electric hypercar company Rimac Automobili. So what does success mean to you? Is it money? Fame and glory? Or something else. Before we go any further into the story, let's work out the vocabulary. Read the words on the left and sentences on the right. Try to replace the highlighted words in these sentences with the corresponding words on the left. Start with those you are most certain of and then do the ones you think might be true. And those you are not so sure of, you can check out in the dictionary hiding behind this QR code. So, pause the video lesson and do the task in your notebooks. Okay, let's check. Stuffy. The air in the room was hot and unpleasant. The outskirts. We stayed in a hotel in the outer area of Barcelona. Provide for. He has a wife and two children and he buys food and clothes they need. Shabby. Joe's flat is untidy, humble. She's very modest about her success. Tag along. If you're going to town, do you mind if I come along? Drop out. Teenagers who don't finish school have trouble finding jobs. Humiliating. Some people enjoy making others feel ashamed. Contribute to. She gives all the money to her family. Breadwinner. She brings money to their family. 
She is the job holder. Challenge. It was a difficult but motivating task to do. Laugh at. I can't go to school like this. Everyone will make fun of me. I'm sure you all did well. Good job. Let's tickle your mind a bit. Read this part of the story that's coming up and try to guess what the story is about. And try to figure out what the title successful at an early age has to do with it. So pause the video lesson and read. Before you start reading the text, read these questions. What were Daniel's growing up conditions like? Why did he drop out of school? What is his formula for success? Copy these questions into your notebooks and while reading, try to find the answers. Here comes the video story. Hope you will enjoy it.
I hope you liked the story. So, did you guess what the story was about? Hmm. Anyways, let's check your answers. So, Daniel was born into a poor family. His older siblings took care of him since their parents were never home. They had to work. One of the teachers was humiliating him in front of the class constantly. He couldn't stand it anymore and stopped going to school. Ashamed and laughed at by the other kids from class, at the age of 12, Daniel decided he would never go back to school. His formula for success was love for his family, humbleness and being there for the loved ones. So, are these statements true or false? Pause the video lesson and write down sentence number and F if you think it's false and T if you think it's true. And we're back. Let's check. Daniel's parents didn't take good care of their children because they were not interested in spending time with them. Is that true or false? That's false. Daniel used to spend hours with his brother Tommy in the mechanic shop next door. That's true. The mechanic shop belonged to his dad. That's false. Daniel stopped going to school because he didn't want to learn. False. Daniel stayed a school dropout because he brought money to his family. That's true. Daniel started his own business. True. Daniel realized that greatness lies in simple things and helping others. That's true. Daniel's formula for success was his family and being a hero. That's false. His formula for success was family, humbleness and being there for the loved ones. I'm sure you did a good job. Here's your chance to improve your vocabulary and check if you have learned all the words. Since you already have these words in your notebooks, let's just talk. So, stuffy. Which one goes with stuffy? What do you think? Good. Not enough fresh air. The outskirts. What describes the outskirts? The outer area of a city, town or village. Good job. Provide for. What goes with provide for? Great. To give someone the things they need, such as money, food or clothes. Shabby. Good job. Untidy and in bad condition. Humble. All right. Not arrogant. Good job. Tag along. To follow someone even if not wanted. Okay, moving on. Drop out. To not finish what you were going to. Okay, humiliating. To make someone feel ashamed and foolish. Contribute to. To give something. Good job. Breadwinner.
Alrighty, a person who earns money to support their family. Challenge. Something that is hard to do. And the last one, laugh at. To show that someone or something is stupid. Well done. Your opinion matters. So, grab your notebook and your pencil and express your thoughts. Question number one. Do you agree with Daniel's formula for success? Do you think this story could be a good movie? How did his parents feel working every day the whole day? How did Daniel's parents feel about Daniel staying a school dropout? What do you do when someone humiliates another person in front of you? If you need more time to answer these questions, you can always pause the video lesson and do it. Enjoy your work. The end is near and here comes the creative task. So create your video on the topic, what does success mean to you? Please use synonyms and antonyms for success, the new vocabulary and Flipgrid, mobile phone or any IT tool you prefer to do this task. And don't forget the most important ingredient, enjoy your work. Let's see if you have sharpened your mind and now have a strong opinion on today's topic. So judge whether success means being rich and famous, happy and fulfilled, or something else. Support your opinion in two sentences. Thank you all for watching and taking part in this lesson. I hope you have learned something new and had fun. Until the next time, have a great day and bye-bye.